Okay, so I tried the griddled lobster earlier, wasn't overly keen on it, still prefer my uh, boiled in salt water version. So I've got another lobster, okay, I've got it in three parts already because it shot its claws when I was wrestling with it. It's been in the fridge, it's very, very sleepy. So that's going to go now, I'm going to grill it. I've got to kill it and then it's going to go in the grill, under the grill should I say, on a grill tray. So let's get cracking. So I'm going to kill it instantly. There's the cross on the top of the shell. I'm going to drive my knife through there, a nice heavy sharp knife straight into the cross through the top and front of the head. Turn it round and carry on down. Then I'm going to cut through the tail. Still moving because of the nerves, but I can assure you that Mr. Lobster is no more. He's an ex lobster. And there we have half a lobster. And this one is full of horribleness. So I'm going to pull out the stomach and the mouth. And I'm going to get rid of all this horribleness here. It's obviously been feeding quite heavily. All this green greeny black stuff. I'm going to pop it on my grill tray. I'm going to break in the claws now so that it can cook more evenly. Maybe not. <laughs> Pop them in as well. So I have my two halves of lobster and I have my two claws. Now I've also got here some butter and olive oil mixed with some herbs. The herbs are parsley and fennel, which I've chopped up. Just give it a bit of flavour and some of my five a day. We'll just smear that on. That's also going to allow it to sort of semi-fry, keep it a bit moist as well. Okay, so that is my end result. Now, I say end result, not really, because the end result is what happens once it's grilled. So into the oven. You just see my light in there. We can't really see the lobster too well. But that's gonna sit there and I'm gonna give it about 10 minutes. My grill is already partially heated up. Let's wait and see and let's hope it's good. Okay, it's been about five minutes. You can see it's already cooking nicely. Turned nice and pink. So, leave it under. I've dropped it down a bit lower. So you can see it a bit better now as well. And leave that for a bit longer. It looks about done now. So, let's take it out. Let's it up. 
Now that looks good, doesn't it? Right? Let's get the body on. Let's get the legs on. The claws, I mean. And then. going to pour the rest of the butter down over the tail meat because that's the highest point so it's cooked the most. Now don't tell me that that doesn't look awesome. Stunning. really good now. I'm going to have a nice little bit from the sort of bit where the tail joins the body. Mm, looks nicely cooked. Feels tender. Still hot. That is delicious. Riddled one, and there isn't the smell from the burning shell. So the tail again looks like it's uh, cooked itself. Sorry, the claws look like they've cooked themselves nicely. Mmm, mm. they're as good as boiled, but they're own natural. There's no salt or water added to that to alter the flavour. That is pure cooked lobster. Look at this. Mm -hmm. wow. this, is, this is beautiful bit of meat. It's still lovely and hot as well. Mm, soft. Look at that. Mm, that, is, that is really good. so appealing. Oh, oh that flavour is absolutely spot on. Mm. This is absolutely delicious. Now, the question of course, is it better than just straight boiled in Try it. You will not be disappointed. 